Good morning, student athletes. This is Coach Brown coming to you from Browner High School. One of the things we're going to go over today, y'all, is how to fill out our physical forms because one of the biggest things we get when we get in physical forms that is not filled out completely, and it is very important that we do so, especially during this time where it's hard to get physicals during COVID where everybody's still opening up. So anyway, I'm going to go over how to fill out a physical form. If you need to find one and print one off, it's very easy. Go to a search engine such as Google, type in VHSL physical form. As y'all can see, it was revised this January, so it is different. But you type in VHSL physical form, it'll come up, you can print it off, or you can go to your coach and get it. But remember, your physical has to be on a VHSL physical form. It cannot be on your individual physician's physical form. If you get it on your individual physician's physical form, they will transfer it over. So real quick, let's get into this, okay? This is for school year. Next year, school year, let's get into this first. Understand that physicals go through the school year. Okay, it goes from May the 1st to June the 30th, all right? It is not a calendar year. So if you got a physical for spring sports in 2021 that just ended, then your physical is over in a couple of weeks on June the 30th, all right? So you are not eligible to play until you get a new physical. Physicals pretty much go from the throughout the school year. So look at it that way. So this school year ends in June, so does your physical form. So by July the 1st of the next year, you need a new physical form. So what is the school year? It would be 2021 and 2022. Here you check your gender. All right, make sure you fill this out. Last name, first, middle, initial, student ID. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to know that. Home address, city zip code, home address of parents or garden, city zip code, date of birth, place of birth, okay? Place of birth meaning St. Mary's Hospital. This is where we always forget to fill, fill out, all right? This is my blank semester at blank high school. If you're a freshman, all right, this would be your third semester in Browner High School. If you're a junior, this is my this will be my fifth semester at Browner High School. If you're a senior, this is my seventh semester at Browner High School. All right, count next year as your semester. So you've already completed how many? If you're a freshman, you completed two, two semesters at Browner High School and your blank semester since entering the ninth grade, okay? All right, so your blank semester since the inner ninth grade. The reason why this here, this number, if you've been at Verona High School the whole time, okay, if you that's the same, but this is my blank semester since entering the ninth grade. All right, so if you are a freshman, you've already passed two semesters, then you're back on your third semester. All right, semester and I attended blank high school. All right. Last semester, so where did you attend last semester? I attended Verona High School and I passed six credit subjects and I took seven. How many, how many subjects did you pass and compare to how many subjects did you take? If you pass seven or seven, this I passed seven, I took seven. If you pass six, I passed six and took six. The reason why this, you must pass five classes in order to be eligible for the Virginia High School League. These are just rules and individual uh, rules of the VHSL that you and your parents or guardians can read over. Here, it must have a student signature at the bottom of page one, not only a student signature, a date. All right, we get confused on page two. Page two is medical history. It's very simple. You answer the questions yes or no. You answer the questions yes or no. You go through all 40 questions, you and your parents, excuse me, 48 questions, all right, this is for females only, and answer questions one through 44. Down here, if you answered yes to any of the questions, you gotta explain. So for example, question number three, do you have any ongoing medical conditions? If so, if so please identify. Well, if you have asthma, if you check asthma, yes, all right? Down here, for number three, you put number three and you explain. I have asthma and I'm on inhaler. Very simple, all right? All right, right here, do you current, let's say number 21, do you currently have a bone, muscle, or joint injury that bothers you, okay? So say that you do have a bone injury, okay? Say that you do have a bone injury and your bone is your shoulder, which is known as your clavicle, 
All right, for number 21, you put number 21. I do have a shoulder injury that's bothering me. And if you know the injury, say clavicle. If you know the muscle in the clavicle, say deltoid or trapezoid. But you know, oh, you don't have to say that. You just got to inform of what you have. So if you check yes on any of these boxes, you got to put the number that you put check, check on, okay? And then you got to explain the injury. All right, very simple. It says list any medications or nutritional supplements that you're currently taking. All right, right here, if you own a protein shake, list it. Again, it has to have a parent signature, a date, and it has to have an athlete signature. Biggest problem we run into on page two, parent signature date and athletic signature. Make sure you complete it. Page three is the physical examination of yourself. One thing that you can do to help the doctors out, you can put the name, the date, and birth in the school. The rest is for the doctors. This is actually the physical examination itself. Okay, this is actually the physical examination of itself. Down here, this is where the doctors again gives you the physical. Down here is for the doctors to fill out. Before you turn it in, you must have your doctor's signature. You must have your doctor's date. This is very important for them to fill out. A lot of times we get physicals where page three is completely filled out, but the doctor did not give that signature. Okay, it's very important that you make sure all this is filled out. Page four is very simple. This is acknowledgement. This is the acknowledgement by you and your child. I give permission for Stu Brown. That's the name of the child. List all the sports that they wish to try out for. Down here, we must have your insurance. This is a huge problem we run into. We do not get insurance, therefore they're not eligible because a lot of, I mean 99.9% .9 of the time we just didn't fill it out correctly. But the name of the company, healthcare for me, my policy number, one, two, three, four, five, six, name of policy holder, Stu Brown. This must be filled out, okay? Name of the student athlete, sports of which they wish to try out for, name of the insurance company, the policy number, and the policy holder. You can get all that off your insurance card. And down y'all here is a emergency form. The last page goes with the trainers itself. It goes with the trainers to all athletic events in case of the emergency. We know exactly who to call. We know exactly what resources to call in order to inform everybody that the student athlete needs help. And it's the best way to do it because we can get the student athletes the medical procedures that are required in a timely manner. This is for the parents, emergency filled out. Again, student's name, grade, age, date of birth, high school. You list any significant health problems in case there is an emergency. List all medications, whether any medication that your student might be on, okay? It says, is, is the, uh, do you have an EpiPen? Pen? That's for allergic reactions. List the emergency medication. Is the student taking any medications? Yes or no, if so, what? Does the student have contacts in? Date, a last T-tap, or go a tetanus shot, all right? So you gotta put that on there. You can get that from your family physician. Emergency authorization, all right? This gives permission to the permission selected or the coaching staff at Verona High School to hospitalize, all right? Daytime phone number, evening phone number, cell phone, phone number. We must fill this out, all right? Parent, relationship, all this must fill out, remember, Page four goes with your student athlete to the athletic event that they plan in in case of emergency. It's very important. So, again, we must completely fill out the physical form one through four. Read through it thoroughly. Make sure you fill it out. I hope it helps. Again, we got to have a new physical form. We got to have a completed full physical by July the 1st for the 2021. 2022 school year you can get the physical form from your coach because it must be on a vhsl physical form or you can google vhsl for virginia high school league or vhsl physical form and you can get it there thank you good luck go devils